Hey, g'day! This was supposed to be just a fun little guide on how to farm a high level rare spawn for a level 40 pre raid best in slot rare cape. In fact, I will still show you how to do that first, and then I have a story for you all. So, the rare in question is Neymar the Slayer, a level 37 troll. He has a handful of spawns around Witherbark Village in the southeast of Rathi Highlands, and he has two main drops. The first is Nemar's Tribal Headdress, which is a reasonable in the spirit stamp piece, but it's nothing to write home about. But then, Dark Hooded Cape with 10 agility and 4 strength is pre raid best in slot for at least rogues, hunters, and feral druids, and probably for warriors, enhancement shamans, and rep paladins also. It's a BOE, so you can also sell it for a pretty penny if you like. Nema has a 5 to 8 hour respawn, so you could theoretically be getting him around 4 times a day, which makes this a very appealing farm. The best way I've found to check for him is to stand at Fubar's tree and eagle eye around the spawns with some sort of scanning add on. Either rare scanner or unit scan are good options. And this is Fubar's tree. It's nicely between two potential spawns, it's close to the road and no mobs spawn too close as to aggro you here. So I eagle eye around, checking all of the huts. Then, when I find him, head on over and begin the kite. He will likely have a bunch of random other trolls around. You could kill them, but I find it's easier just to use my pet to distract them, and then shoot Nema and lash the rest. If you can do this, make sure you don't do anything else to the other mobs, you just shoot Nema. Then you run away, firing off a Chimera shot on cooldown. As a horde, I like to head to the Goshek farm, mostly because I'm on a PvP server, and the orcs are friendly to me, but hostile to the alliance. So this time I got the headdress, and you probably will get a fair few of these in your hunt for the cloak. Now, being a rare spawn camping farm, a gold per hour isn't really relevant. But let's look at the prices for the cape. On the US side, we have around 300 gold on wild growth, lone wolf, and Crusader Strike, 500 gold on Chaos Bolt, and the other servers didn't have any up. On the EU side, we have 600 gold on Wild Growth, 300 on Lone Wolf, more like around 200 on Living Flame, and Crusader Strike, the ally side is under 300 gold, but the Horde is over 600 gold. So overall, we can say the market price is around a few hundred gold at least. And then the other thing to consider is holding it until people are actually level 40 to use it. It is a bit of a gamble whether to try and sell it now for a few hundred gold, or hold on to it for level 40 and hope nothing better comes along. The two things that would absolutely tank the price would be if there's a better item in Nomogun, making it only pre-raid best in slot rather than absolute best in slot, or even more so if they make a level 40 version of the Sergeant's Cloak. At level 25, we got plus four to all stats, so it's not really that unreasonable to expect there might be a level 40 version with, say, 6 to all stats, or maybe even 8 to all stats. And that would be much better Prebus if it is the case. Now, I promised you a story. You just saw the best case. I come to the spot, Nemo is there waiting for me, I kill him, collect the loot. It takes a couple of minutes, then I'm home free. Sometimes, you come here, and other people know about the farm. Here we meet a hunter multiboxer who has the same idea as me, and he manages to beat me to the tag this time. And it's a little sad, the farm does get quite a bit worse when you have really any competition at all. I guess the multiboxer had the same thought, because next spawn he calls in a favour of the guy who runs the GDKPs on the alliance side. Round one, fight! Now the thing about people who run GDKPs, is they tend to have a lot of characters so that they can run many per week. Sometimes they even have those characters on separate accounts. So when I get jumped by an alliance rogue, and I manage to narrowly kill him, I'm sure you can guess what happens next. Round two, yeah. fight! How many accounts does this guy have? Oh that many. Mr. TB sir, I salute you.
Okay. Seriously? Come on, man. I saluted you. Go away. And just in case you're not sure that this is a cartel, here's the multiboxer with a couple of other characters hanging out in peace with Mr. Tibu. And here's the cartel going to kill a poor alliance who clearly didn't pay his protection fee. Now you might think I'd be salty having my nice farm monopolised by cross-faction collusion. Actually, couldn't be further from the truth. I think it's awesome. Like seriously, we're right at the end of phase 1 of Season of Discovery. Most people, they're just raid logging and they're waiting for phase 2 to launch. And here we have a cartel spinning up to get all the spawns of a rare 12 levels above the level cap so that they can farm a rare cloak that's probably, but not definitely, a best in slot item for content that hasn't even come out yet. Mate. Mate. You can have the capes. And so I'll leave you with this. If you're interested in this farm, have a quick look on your server. If the troll is uncontested, it's almost certainly going to be the best gold farm possible right now. If there's already a cartel, hey, maybe organize some guildies and see if you can get some PvP happening. Or if you're on a PvE server, maybe you can steal some tags off them. But whatever the case, best of luck. And please subscribe before you go, it helps me a lot. But until next time, bye for now.